a brand new color for a brand new platform. More style and premium features with a lot of power under the hood. New materials for more passenger comfort and upgraded cargo capacity. The Mazda CX-90 is the best Mazda has ever made. What's up everybody, I'm Jonathan Sewell Sales at Mitchell Mazda on the boulevard in Enterprise, Alabama. Here it is, CX-90 Artisan Red. This is the Turbo Premium Plus. And of course, we're gonna go inside, we're gonna go outside, we're gonna go all the way around so that you can see exactly why this is better than the Highlander, better than the Pilot, and better than the CX-9. So let's jump in. More garbage. Getting started up front, this is the all new Artisan Red, brand new color, only available on the premium models, so premium and premium plus. And this color was designed specifically for this platform. So you can see how it complements the Kodo design elements, especially when it comes back to this D pillar here, a lot of paint on that rear fender and the D pillar. And then especially this long hood, couple of harsh body lines across the top, but other than this small body line here, everything else is just smooth sailing. Good wind management, but also uh, really shows this color off. This is the 3.3 Turbo Premium Plus. A couple ways you can notice that by looking is the 21 inch wheel. This is the silver painted wheel, a very beautiful wheel with a, a good design. And I'm glad to see a 21 inch wheel because it really fills that uh, wheel well. The other way you can notice as well is with this fender badge. So the blacked out fender badge, of course it does say inline six there. So you know that this is that 3.3 turbo. As we start up front here, Notice that in this Premium Plus, you do have the front and rear sensors. So of course with this radar, and I love how this is recessed in the grill instead of out like all of our other Mazdas, it's recessed. This grill is very elegant looking. And of course you can see a lot of air allowed to come through with these active grill shutters, which are actually shut right now as it's uh, wanting to stay warm, but will open up as it needs to cool. Just a, a very nice touch. And then as well with the LEDs that tie into that grill and come around here. Of course, the new design um, headlight assembly there with the projector beam up top and also little um, turn signal down there, which is a good uh, vertical placement as we're accustomed to more of a horizontal uh, arrangement. And of course, the nice little chrome accents in the grill and down beneath here really uh, pop off of this artisan red color. But with the, the sensors up front and the uh, sonar you have, or excuse me, the radar and these sensors, you have the smart brake support and um, also smart brake support reverse, uh, as well as something that's new in this line is a front cross traffic uh, alert. So as people are coming across your face, just like for years in the, in the rear coming across, uh, you get an alert with that as well. So stepping up on the safety as well as other amenities and I'm just very impressed by this long hood. Of course, this is a rear wheel drive platform first with all wheel drive that would engage the, the, uh, the torque in the front wheels to give you better traction and a longitudinal design for that rear wheel drive. So a long hood, a long six cylinders, and of course a long 200, 201 inch body there with more cargo, more passenger space than the CX-9. Uh, we'll talk a few more uh, comparatives here as far as the Toyota Highlander and the Honda Pilot as we go around, specifically in the powertrain conversation. But uh, I think it's gonna be apparent as we break through that you can see a lot of differences from the CX-9 to the 90 and see how Mazda is expecting this segment or these large platforms to really take off and be a, uh, 
a, a, a name in that category of this uh, mid-sized uh, crossover segment. As we continue around, the Premium Plus adds a power folding uh, mirror here. And I'll go ahead and open that up by hitting the uh, unlock. And so this is also an auto dimming uh, driver's mirror. And of course you have see the triangle for the um, blind spot monitors. I'll just go ahead and open that so it doesn't lock back on us. And tied in with a chrome here, this is a really elegant uh, upgrade with the Mazda there on the end of it. So attracting that. Also, you still have, you know, kind of Mazda's signature design with this chrome uh, door trim or window trim. And then, of course, the, uh, the satin uh, design roof rails, which are uh, standard here. And you can see a little bit of that shark fin antenna up there, but it's kind of hidden behind the roof rails. So this is designed for recreation capability, 5,000 uh, towing pounds, towing 5,000 pounds. So designed for a lot of uh, uses and everybody's different and has their hobbies. So this one can do it all for you. As you go around the back, back you see the CX-90 badging all wheel drive, the E Skyactiv-G, which we'll talk about in just a minute. And then as we've talked about before, you don't have the rear outlets for the exhaust showing. They're actually tucked underneath uh, and uh, projected down. So you don't have that same style that we do in every other uh, Mazda. And then of course the CX-60 has a faux outlet or a fake outlet. So these are just uh, tucked underneath here and you have a little bit more trim and a reflector there. And then of course the uh, sensors in the back. We'll open this up real quick. Of course, the 360 camera is part of the Premium Plus. And so uh, what's neat about that, and we'll look on the inside on that big 12.3 inch uh, center infotainment is the see-through view. But what you also have on several trims is this kick feature to power that lift gate, and uh, which is real convenient. As we continue to move around, you can just see how the, the sun is out ever so slightly and see that Kodo design and the beautiful reflection here and the different tones of that dark artisan red. But now let's jump underneath here and talk about the new powertrain. Walking up here, the first thing that you'll notice is, yes, <laughs> hood props. So thankful for that, uh, just like the CX-50. And this is a really large hood, so I'm glad that they offered that for ease. The second thing that you'll notice is where's the engine? <laughs> so they've uh, decided to put a lot of plastic around, even enclosing like the uh, battery over here and the uh, brake fluid reservoir and the, uh, I believe the ABS modules also under there. And then you can see uh, some components here and your air box feeding around. And here is your uh, washer fluid, I believe, and your coolant and everything is gonna be, coolant reservoir is gonna be under here. Oh, I'm sorry, here's your coolant and here's your washer. So still, uh, they've got them covered up fairly well. I will uh, show you this little trick here to taking another look. And so, uh, so you can check this out or check the fluids or whatever you need to do underneath. Of course, with this longitudinal design, you have all six cylinders going this way. And I believe from what I can tell, I like the first four are right here and the other two are underneath some of that cladding back towards the firewall. Uh, but it allows for just one turbo. So you didn't have to do a twin turbo because it can feed all of these uh, areas on this from this one side. And um, it is rather warm under here when running, uh, which is probably part of what all the uh, plastic and cladding is, just to keep the heat down off of the uh, hood. But I uh, just wanted to show you a look here. And um, this is pretty much identical to the Turbo S uh, setup. The only difference, of course, is the uh, main um, tuning of the engine to go from this one at 280 horsepower, 323 foot-pounds of torque, which is very, very peppy. And then of course the Turbo S improves those numbers with the tuning. 
while I'm talking about those ratings, of course, you may be familiar if you're considering the Toyota Highlander, they just did a change from their 3.5 liter tried and true uh, V6 to a uh, four cylinder turbocharged, which has 265 horsepower and I believe just under 300 foot pounds of torque, whereas this one's at 323. And then the Honda Pilot does have a uh, 285 horsepower, but just over 300 foot pounds of torque. So uh, this engine is definitely a sleeper in my opinion, because you think that you have to go all the way to the Turbo S, but this one with 280 horsepower coming from, uh, on regular fuel, coming from a 250 with premium in the four cylinder turbo on the CX-9, this one has a lot of pep and is very impressive. And you definitely need to get your local dealer and test drive this engine, uh, especially if you're considering a Highlander Pilot or Palisade, Telluride, any of those. I think this is a very clean look for a very premium vehicle. And of course, this one gets the uh, 25 combined and is rated at 28 on the highway. Before we jump inside, what you don't see underneath on this side here, the noted under the hood, is where the battery sits. It's a very small battery and it's a 48 volt mild hybrid system is what Mazda is referring to it as. And as you can picture in here, the engine comes back. They've pushed the engine back to make room for a better wheel travel steering. And of course they've tightened that up to give better handling. And um, so they pushed that back because they were able to remove a torque converter. They have a multi-clutch eight speed transmission, which is all new. But as you begin your takeoff, instead of that torque converter, it, it uses that electric motor to get you going and then it will engage that eight speed transmission uh, and feeds all the way to these rear wheels. Then of course, the iActive all wheel drive does keep some in reserve, some torque in reserve up front. If you need that extra traction, it has the same predictive system that all of our crossovers have to uh, get you whatever traction you need for whichever environment you're in. But it's rear wheel drive the majority of the time, which improves your steering and handling, uh, so eliminates the torque steer. Also has the kinematic posture control, which uh, will help prevent body roll by using the braking in those turns. So this is really the best driving crossover, not to mention a third row crossover that's on the market currently. As impressive as the powertrain and the design on the outside is, this is definitely my favorite part of the vehicle. The interior is just amazing. So you can see these new accents and this is the white Napa leather on this Premium Plus. So it's very, I've fallen in love with white leather on all of Mazda since I came in uh, 2018. And this one, you have eight-way power with lumbar, eight-way power over there, very comfortable. Also have, of course, a hand-stitched leather wrap steering wheel. And you can see how it's kind of taken a little bit of the CX-50 design with these vertical air vents and more of a traditional design with the horizontal vents in the center and uh, really allows for better airflow from the back. And this is what I love are these little touches here to change the temperature. Very nice, very upscale. I love it on the 50 and the 30. Uh, then you could kind of get lost with all these switches here, but that's because this Premium Plus does have all of these amenities, heated steering wheel, heated seats, ventilated seats, of course your defrost and some manual controls or manual HVAC controls. Let's go ahead and crank it up and show you a few things here. And we'll turn the uh, same old chime from the CX-30 and CX-50 though. So a couple of different uh, displays. This one, and we haven't put any fuel in it yet, uh, so it's about a quarter of a tank there or so, an eighth of a tank. But you can see that this is uh, something you can set in the settings here to uh, remove the, the um, uh, iActive display, which shows the car. So you can have more of a traditional gauges. This one does have the full 12.3 inch uh, cluster here, digital cluster, which is really nice. So it has a lot of information. Of course, you have like the biggest 
uh, active display up here as well. And um, it carries a lot of that same information and you can toggle that in the settings as well. To, of course, to position it uh, or the information that it uh, shares there. Now notice down here, just like all other hybrids, even though this one isn't uh, as quiet uh, or the engines for the most part always running, um, it does have a ready light here, which you'll also see on the plug-in hybrid. So when you're in EV mode in the plug-in hybrid, which is one of your drive modes, it'll let you know that it's ready to go. Also, the uh, Mazda navigation is standard on more models on the CX-90. And this is a 12.3 inch screen that you upgrade to on this Premium Plus. So these two 12.3 inch uh, offerings are Premium Plus only on this engine. And you can see the soft touch materials with the uh, stitching all the way around. I like this uh, faux wood grain here. It's very nice, ties in well. And then of course, the uh, center uh, contrast here, very soft, appreciate that. Not so deep of a uh, console here, but you do have uh, two USB-Cs, these nice little cable channels here for uh, plugging things in if you like. Of course, a wireless charger here, which does light up on the infotainment to uh, signify that something's charging. Also, you have a, hello there, you have a uh, wireless, or excuse me, a frameless uh, auto dimming rearview mirror. Of course, the big pano roof that uh, you know you can light up all the passengers or have it kind of shaded back there if you like. And this one opens up about the same to about right here. You can see that kind of groove there. So it opens up about right here, pretty similar to what the CX-50 does. A little bit over 50% though, I would say. And um, the most exciting thing, of course, is that on more models, they have uh, wireless... Uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto available, as well as your Mazda connected services. So you can, through the app, start and stop. You can also check out tire pressure, fuel level, all of those things. And you have a lot of a lot of nice information here showing the green ring on the iActive Sense status, uh, the direction that you're facing. Of course, telling us that we're low on fuel. You can turn those off uh, or have some other features. So very, very convenient and also, um, Here's your Mazda radar cruise control with stop and go. One thing that you'll notice is this joystick's a little bit different. So you actually, to out of park, you move it to the right and then down uh, to drive neutral or reverse. And just make sure when you come out of drive that you don't just put it there and leave it, that you actually move it over to drive. Uh, you also have downhill assist, uh, launch assist, uh, and here's your 360 see-through view camera. Of course, I've got this door open. Let's shut this real quick. And here's the see-through view. So you can actually see where you're coming in relation to the wheels and um, very nice uh, to protect as you're driving around. And here's a look at that uh, back camera, uh, which is the same setup there. And you can see these lines here, which are static on this model. And then of course the 360 view uh, shows everything there. So very, very nice. And, uh, you know, I, I would use this every day with that 360 view camera. Uh, already mentioned the uh, ventilated seats and heated seats up front. The Premium Plus also adds some extra amenities in the second row. So let's uh, hop back there. Same door card design here. And this is a Bose system, which I didn't mention. So it's a 12 speaker system. Uh, still have the subwoofer back in the back as we're accustomed to. But you do have these sun shades here. Uh, do have on this model the pass-through same seating carryover with this nice little uh, console here that folds up for a cup holder. Also have two more USB-Cs here, heated seats on back sides here, and um, your climate control. So very comfortable for these customers in the back. And you can see from this one that it is reclinable. And just to take a peek back here in the third row, this is for three people and um, can hold car seats. So top tethers in all three of these spaces back here, both of these spaces here as well. And something that's pretty neat, just raise that up a little bit, is you do have, uh, turn it sideways there, air vents, which are shut off 
and a USB-C on both sides. So everybody can be charged and everybody can be comfortable with that rear. And also in this uh, Premium Plus, you have these LED lights all the way around and the uh, door pockets light up as well as the foot wells on the Premium Plus. So you have nice uh, LED accents, LED light back here in the third row. So very nice to match this beautiful white interior. You also have uh, upgraded ambient lighting, which is fantastic. And you can't go wrong with either interior color, but this uh, CX-90 is very premium. And um, again, the best Mazda, I'll coin it as the best Mazda ever made. More safety, better performance, better passenger um, comfort, volume, and cargo. Also upgraded safety, including more airbags, uh, more technology as far as safety the largest wheels they've ever had on a car from the factory. Uh, so a lot of things, rear wheel drive, inline six, I active all wheel drive standard. And then of course, using some latest hybrid technology and batteries to get better fuel economy and to make the overall driving dynamics and driving experience better. So this is it, the 2024 CX-90 3.3 Turbo Premium Plus and the beautiful new Artisan Red with the white leather interior. And I'm so thankful that I'm able to film this vehicle right now because this one is purchased. So thank you very much to the family that will be taking ownership of this in a few days. And uh, very grateful that they chose to do business here and that we, as our first CX-90 to arrive here because of some um, holdups down the uh, pipeline, but glad to have this one here for them. And I uh, can't wait to, for them to take it home and enjoy all of the great features of this vehicle. The CX-90, just like every other new crossover, has the best of Mazda as they're getting more and more and more. And it's so beautiful. And of course, it's a Mazda. <laughs>